Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is part two, and hopefully I'll be able to do this. I'm, uh, as I stated in the first video, uh, this is a little bit over my head, but I'm gonna take these nodes and just start deleting the propeller. And the one, the best way I've always found to do something like this is to get to this point right here and grab both these nodes and then right click and turn them into a line and then that's propeller, part of the propeller's gone. Uh, it's kind of hard to make, I think this is the, you know, when an airplane propeller is turning, uh, you're only seeing part of it, and it's kind of an optical illusion, but we might be able to just get this thing away from the other part, and we did. Then we can grab it all and just hit delete. We do not particularly need that part of the propeller because I want to try to recreate a propeller in actual, kind of more like the picture. So I'm going to delete some of these nodes. And as you can see, it sometimes can be a little difficult when nodes start doing stuff like that. Because we can take and rebuild, or I'm hoping I can, rebuild this body of the front of the airplane to kind of make it look more normal. And if we look at our, the beginning of the plane, this just looks like, see when he, when he, when he vectorized it, 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 it actually broke up the colors. So really these colors all need to be the same. So we can just take our shape tool and just kind of imagine what the, the front of the airplane would look like and, you know, try to get, um, stuff like that and, and, and kind of smooth it all out, especially on your exterior parts, kind of make it look real. Trying to grab the shape tool. And, you know, I really don't think, that's one thing I like about Corel. I can take all these notes out and that part will disappear. And I could, I could even go further and take this part and actually make it disappear and make this one just disappear because they're a color that I don't really need. And then we're gonna take the next one and start moving it down to try to make like the body of the airplane look good. Like, you know, there's actually another set of colors right there. And that's one thing I've always liked about Corel. You can really manipulate it and get rid of some of those extra colors. Now, when you do something like that, you wanna be careful because you've got two colors and now you've got a white spot. So I deleted that note. I'm just going to back up and have that the same because I can always make this color of the nose the same color. And I think I'm going to pick that color right there. So I'm just going to grab the eyedropper tool and then I'm going to make all these colors the same. And, you know, then you could really go back and forth to the picture and see what looks different and what looks the same. And, you know, like there's an intake you know, right there, and there's an intake right there. So we could, you know, utilize that, make it look more like an intake maybe, um, square this off. And and this really and truly, this isn't what he was asking. He was really needing more help on the, on the uh, propeller. But what I'm gonna try to do is take, with the interactive fill tool, take a sample well, a lot of times you have to go back to your pick tool and then I've got something selected. So deselect anything, then go to your, oh no, I was using the color eyedropper, I'm sorry. Color eyedropper tool and take a sample of that and then make all these other colors around it that same color. And then you could play around with this shape alone. And then I would actually Let's see if we can't pick that wider. The white's not even there anymore. The white is a hole. So what we need to do is bring in this yellow or this brown part of the box. I'm actually gonna back up, put that thing right back where it was. And you could um, bring this box in a little more. And you know, there's our part, but you can always grab the other. What I'm trying to do is make a rectangle and this will actually leak if we don't do this. 
And now I'm going to try the Smart Fill tool to fill in that spot. And there's more of an intake looking part of the plank. But that's not what the video is about. Well, I guess it is. But So we need to kind of redesign this nose cone and have it kind of jut out a little bit. And, you know, when you do that, you've got to take these other colors. And also, we can, this is something we can do. Because I'm trying to make it look like a nose cone. And what we could do right here, here's a good little trick. That's behind that color. We can go to object, order, put in the front of the page. And now that nose cone looking thing is in the front. We could take a sample with the eyedropper tool of that color and fill in everything around it. Well, evidently that's not a, we don't have a good enough space around it yet. And as you can tell, I'm just working off the cuff here. And a lot of times you have to de deselect something to, to get to another tool and we'll get the shape tool. And see, I'm still having problems, but we can blend all this kind of back in, you know, make a nose cone look in shape. You can always grab that and bring it down. But anyway, what I was going to try to do is try to make a propeller. And that looks like more like Pinocchio's thumb than, than, a, than a cone on a prop. But you can play around with that. And then you just have to go back and forth between the, the two pictures. So let's try to make a propeller. And I have no really earthly clue what I'm doing here. But you can kind of see, you know, if we're going to make it look like the real real picture, you've got some grays. And uh, matter of fact, now that we've gone this far, I'm going to I'm going to clean up a little bit more, and then I'm going to make another video on how to. Uh, See, this is one of those cases that I would get rid of all this stuff and just kind of look at the picture and see what it looks like. If there's even, it's probably just a shadow on the bottom. It is. So you could always take your shape tool and just bring this back over here and bring another node and bring this node and it's going to fill that all in. Anyway, so I'm going to do a little research on this propeller, and if, you'll, if you're interested, stay tuned for part three. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.